Good morning, this is Cindy, and today we are doing stack and wax. It sounds like wax, W A X, but it's W H A C K, like whack a mole. I keep calling them whack and stacks rather than stack and whack, but whatever you want to call it, that's what we're going to do today. So, to start doing this on this Maker Monday, what you need are five card backs. I'm making space here, and I know that, that I'm a little off camera for those, but that's okay because you'll see why in a minute. But we're going to be doing stuff with them in a minute. Four, I need five of these. And for, for this, I've just used cardstock. Um, I got this idea from Gail Agostinelli, and she used file folders. Uh, so you can use really, as long as it's something that's got a, a decent stiff back, I think you're okay. And then you need five cut exactly the same size, making sure that's just one, one, two, three, four. And I had a piece of map that I was going to use, but I really wanted to keep the kind of black and white color on this particular set. And... I thought, well, I'm just going to have to throw map in there. And then I got this ad yesterday. Sauter's Farm Market is uh, an Amish or Mennonite uh, farm market that is just a couple of towns over from us. We don't get there very often. But we went yesterday and they had this ad. And I thought, oh, those are the perfect colors. And, of course, they put one in everybody's, I'm just trying to get a straight edge here. They put one in everybody's uh, bag as you're leaving, and so it was perfect. Okay, for this size, just so you know what my measurements are, this particular one is three inches by six and a half. So I want to cut this at three inches by six and a half. Okay, how am I going to do this? You know what? It's going to be easier for me to do it this way with a pen or pencil markings. So then do it any other way. Okay, so I want three inches over. Just marking my spot by six inches, six and a half inches tall. Now, as far as measurements go, you really can do this any way you want. Um, I'm going to go this way first. Make sure I am lined up and that I am more or less level. And I want it to be there. So now... I have my five pieces and I have my five. I can get rid of my ruler because that's done. Now we, all we need is glue. We're going to be gluing from here on in. So what I'm going to do is take all five of these and I'm going to clip them together in three spots. I'm going to clip them there. I'm going to clip them down here and I'm going to clip them here now you can do you can use whatever you want for your clips if if you want to use um uh paper clips that's fine uh i just happen to have these really cool pieces and we're gonna we're gonna separate them we're gonna cut them into threes that's the first thing we're gonna do and don't worry if it's not level it's kind of in fact better if it's not level there we go. So I have my threes. Now these I'm not going to change. Those are going to stay just the way they are. But I'm going to put another clip here. I'm going to break these down into two pieces. And I'm going to put another clip here and break these down into two pieces. So now I have one, two, three, four, five sets and I have five cards. You're beginning to see where this is going? Okay. I'm going to set these over here in their order, just so that I don't forget. 
And I'm going to take my first clip off and I'm going to go one, two, am I on camera? I'm almost not on camera. There we go. Two, three, four. Ah, I'm doing things over here. Five. You want things of you want your papers to be pretty close to the same width thickness. Now I started with one there, so I don't want to do that. I want to start here so that I don't match up two, three, four, five, one. And then I want to start with three, three, four, five, one, two. Now I want to pick one of these two and I want to start with four, four, five, six, no, yeah, six, that's one, two, three. And now I'm starting with five because it's the only one that doesn't have one of these. Five, one, two, three, four. Okay, now we start the gluing and I'm gonna move a couple of these out of the way gently so that I don't mess up where things are on them. I'm just moving them up, grabbing my glue book and we'll start with this one. So this is a really cool way to use up some of those smaller papers that you have. Um, as long as you can, and really you can do this with any size. And in fact, the next one I'm going to do is a different size from this one. And you can use, you can do them with colors. You can do them with, um, you know, with a color scheme. You can do them with a theme. You can just do scraps. And that's just fine. I will tell you that um, I will link to Gail's uh, video down below. I watched it once and I thought, oh, that's a really cool idea. Then I watched it again and I worked alongside with her on the video. And I'm going to tell you, that woman works fast. She did five of these. She had all five done. I was still on three and a half. And I was just, and I thought I was hauling. So she works really, really fast. Now you can use a bone folder to push these down if you'd like. Um, or a, a, a card. A store card or a hotel card or old credit card, whatever plastic card that you have. Okay. Hang on. I'm going to take this one all the way through to completion and then I will do the other five. Uh, but you feel free if once you get the idea of this, if you want to fast forward, you can. If you want to pause the video and go get cards and do this with me, you are certainly welcome to do so. It's kind of fun to craft along with somebody. I am going to ink it up quick. I'm, I am using Vintage Photo, but use whatever color fits for you. I thought about using a gray on here, um, but I kind of like the Vintage Photo look for these. Maybe I'll use a gray on one of them just to see what the difference is. Okay, now we want to tab our edges. Um, I think I'm gonna go with that size. This is a, cute, a cool trick that I learned from Carrie the Crafter to take an old store card that isn't any good anymore and make a template out of it. So you don't have to constantly try to figure out 
what your edges are. There we go. I'm going to toss those. And now you can see with this, I've, there's a couple of places where they don't quite match up. But you know what? You can also ink your edges. Okay, we're going to try something a little bit different with the next one. Uh, let me grab my hole punch. And there's a couple different ways you can do this. I'm going to do this one with just a regular hole punch. And now I have a tag. All I have to do is put a ribbon in it and I'm all set to go. Okay, let's do the second one. Because I'm going to do this one a little bit differently. This time, I'm going to ink all of my edges before I glue them down. Because that's also an option. You have tons of options with this. And I really like how the cards come out. This is the type of thing that you can sit there and do in front of the TV at night. Or like what I tend to do is I tend to put on YouTube videos and watch other crafters do things. See how they're doing it or just watch for the fun of it. I have a couple of YouTubers that I watch all the time. And then get ideas from. And some I just watch just because they're cool to watch. I will watch anything Carrie the Crafter puts out just because he's fun to watch. He does a, a monthly uh, coffee with Carrie where it's just him talking to the camera just and you know he's adorable. How can you not love him? All right close up my glue for the moment. I now have my piece or my close up my glue close up my ink and now we're going to put these down. And this is going to give a slightly different look. So for my pages that I do, I have here, I have used a, obviously the ad, that's what's in my hand right now. I used, I'm just lining it up. I have to concentrate. I can't talk and line up things at the same time very well. Uh, that was from a, what does it call it? A Tessa, Tessa something. Anyway, it's a coloring book and it, you know, one of those adult coloring books with mazes and things like that in it that you can color and mandalas and that's what that's from. Now this one doesn't quite line up as well as I'd like it because things do shift. So I'm going to push that up just a little bit. And it's going to cover up my food savings one a little bit, but it comes into line here. And that's fine. And let's see if on the bottom, if I have to do some adjustment too. I do. No, maybe not. That's not too bad right there. Now, as far as decorating these, there's a lot of things that you can do. Okay, this one's got to come up because I pushed that up a little bit. Okay, so now I've got a little bit down here where it doesn't quite match up. That's easily remedied. I'm, if, I had my, if I had a guillotine, I would do this with that. I wouldn't use a paper cutter on it because I don't want to pull the paper, but I could do a pretty straight line. There. Grab my, and I have this cut for different angles. So I have a little angle. I have a, this is the medium angle that I'm using right now. I have a larger angle for bigger cards, which I will probably use on the other set that I do. But there we go. And I'm not going to put a thing in, in this one because I want to put eyelets in these. So and for that, I have to grab my crocodile and I'm not going to do the crocodile right at the moment. So there we go. Now, what I could do is just, especially because I cut that edge, I do want to do this again. All right. 
So I'm going to do, I'm going to keep doing these. And again, if you've got the idea and you understand what's going on, if you want to um, fast forward, go ahead. I'm going to keep working here and do all five of these. And then ah, I will put chapters into the description box to make it easy to do. But this is a quick and easy way. It's almost a, what's the word I want? Um, it's almost habit forming because it, that's not the word I want, but that's, you can't, once you get started, you can't stop. I don't know what the word is that I want for that. If you, if you know what word it is that I'm searching for, please put it in the comments below. Otherwise, it's going to drive me crazy. Okay, I'm seeing the word pizza on this, and now I want pizza. Maybe for lunch we'll have pizza. You're watching this on Monday. I'm actually filming it on Saturday. Oh, you know what I didn't do? I did not. Now this one, maybe I just won't ink this one because I forgot to ink the, these going around. We have snow today. And of course, it's loaded in for my husband's show. He has written another show. It's called Men of a Certain Age. It's a companion kind of sort of to Women of a Certain Age. And uh, Women of a Certain Age has gotten several productions so far, which has been really cool. And not just locally. In fact, next weekend, there's a, a production of Women of a Certain Age going up in... I want to say Michigan. I'll have to look that one up. I will put, if I can find a link for it, I'll put it in the description box. So if you're in that area, you can go ahead and join up. Now, don't worry about these looking exactly the same for each one, because keep in mind, um, these will probably go in different journals. You know, every journal will get its own little thing with Bob, so it's okay that it looks differently. Let's, there it is. I want my gray. I want to try this with gray and see what it looks like. Um, yes, I do have a gray one. So I'm going to take a moment and ink all of these with, this is Hickory Smoke. It is Archival Ink Hickory Smoke. So yeah, he's doing load in. So they're putting in the set today. Um, it's going to be in Geneva, New York. And uh, I'm kind of on my own here. And I said, that's fine. I'm going to make a couple of videos since there's nothing else going on today. And it's snowing out. And I, for 30 years, I drove in the snow up to a spot uh, my, where I taught for years in a district on Lake Ontario, right in the smack dab in the middle of a lake effect band. And they prided themselves on never closing. And in fact, I was told there will be times when you're driving to work and the only way you'll know where the road is, is by looking at the telephone poles, just drive between the two sets of telephone poles and the electric poles, and I was like, oh, okay, that's not going to happen. Well, guess what? It did. And towards the end, though, I said, you know, I can't do this anymore. I just, I can't white knuckle it so much anymore in the in the snow. So, um, yeah, my last couple of years, if I, I'm several just I live several districts away from the district in which I taught. And I got to the point where I said, if if two of the five districts that I have to go through, sorry, four districts that I have to go through are closed, I'm not coming in um, because it's just too dangerous. 
But they, they got better. There were, we had a new superintendent, and he said, you know, I'm not going to play with this. When it snows, and it's... Because we don't measure it in inches around here. We measure it in feet. Especially when you get up by Fulton and Watertown. Oh, my glory. Or if you're... If that's on the east side of Lake Ontario. If you're on the east side of Lake Erie, Buffalo... Same thing. You measure it in feet. Where we are, it's not too bad. We don't, we get a lot of lake effect. We get it from Lake Erie and we get it from Lake Ontario. But usually by the time it gets to us, it's mostly snowed out. So it's not too bad. I'm liking that gray. Okay, I need to flip over my page. I'm getting very, very sticky. Um, I think one of the things I'm going to do this Friday, I'm going to do a fun fold Friday on my fabulous Friday this week. I have been doing some, I don't, I'm not a card maker, but I've been going to some stamping up card workshops and I'll I'll post more about that on Friday, but uh, I enjoy doing it and learning the different folds for the cards. But then, let's see, I got a spot there that doesn't quite make, oops, now I made a, oh, now I made a, oops, oh, you know what, that'll be a, we'll stick something over the top of that one. Where's my card? So I hope you're having a good day today. And if, you know, if you have a channel that you are having a good time with, make sure you link it below so that we can all take a look at the things that you're creating. Because that's really what the community is all about, isn't it? It's a community about helping each other, supporting each other. And as I've said in videos past, sometimes, that one's just a little bit off, sometimes you learn best from one person and the way one person explains it, and then the next time you learn from somebody else and the way they explain it. And that's perfectly normal. As a, Like I said, I was a teacher for a long time, and uh, that's normal. Being able to learn from different people is part of what it's all about. So we've done four cards already. We only have one more card left to do of the of the black and white or gray and white. And then we'll take a look at what we've got. Yeah, so my lighting keeps changing because the sun was out for a little while. And then it went away and it started snowing again currently snowing. I chose a book page for this that was definitely a white book page rather than cream because I wanted the black and white. Oops. Okay. I got a little bit of extra glue on that one. Too much glue stick, which means time to change it. Obviously, I use up. I have been using this Dick Blick catalog, which was an old catalog to begin with, uh, for a little over a year now. I'm kind of curious to see how long it lasts. My husband just gave me another one from last year because he got the new one. And um, I said, well, you know what? I haven't finished off the old one yet. Now, this one I have not... I forgot, I, you know, I get talking and I forget to do the edges. So that's all right. And we're going to have all these different looks for the same kind of paper. And sometimes they don't line up because things do move. We're going to do this again in a minute with a different size. And you'll see what I mean.
Okay, now before I do that, I'm going to go ahead and trim off that bottom because once again, I have, it didn't quite line up and that's okay. There, trimmed off. Let's do the corners. Sorry, didn't mean to fall silent there. I'm concentrating. Okay, my corners are done. I do think I'm going to use that gray again around the outside. I'm going to check my video here. I don't think I have to turn my light on yet, but it's getting dark outside. Oh my glory, I just looked out the window. It is, I can't hardly see across the park. It is snowing so hard. Of course it is. It's because they're doing load in today. So heaven forbid, it should be a nice day. We've had so many nice days, I cannot complain. Okay, let me put my, no, I don't want to put my hole in there because I want to use my crocodile for that and it requires a specific hole. So we have done five cards. I did one this way. I did one that way, then I did one, did I do this one at all? I didn't. Okay, let me, I'm going to do that with the gray because I really do like that gray. Um, like I said, this is called Smoky Hickory Smoke. And I do like this color on here. Okay, I am turning my light on. I know maybe you could still see, but I can't hardly anymore. Okay, let me get a little bit more light. There we go. Okay, so I have two that I have done with uh, this one. I, I did the inside uh, each piece. This one I just did the outside. This one I just did the outside. This one I did with vintage photo. This one I did all of it and this one I only did the outside. So lots of differences. All right, let me close this up and let me close that up and we're going to do it all again. Let me grab my pieces. Now this particular particular set is larger. I have my five cards and I have five pieces of paper here. I have a map. I have some music paper. I have some book page. I have more, excuse me, more of that um, tessellated whatever uh, that was I am never going to color something like that. So it, it, this is a perfect place for it to rip it up. And then this is a digital. I have a whole bunch of um, handkerchiefs from my mom. And I've been trying to copy them and do some digitals with them. I'm having a terrible time with my printer. It, the whole napkin or, or um Hanky does not fit on the on the screen, so I don't know that it's actually going to ever happen. But this was one that I copied because I, I hit copy instead of scan. Yeah, sometimes you do weird things. All right, so this particular set is four inches by six and a half. So these are still six and a half. And they're not exactly the same. I've got some that are a little bit off. And I'm going to leave it that way. And I'll trim as I go. So I'm going to put three clips to start with. Because the first thing, the first part is ripping it into three pieces. And you can see I'm ripping this way for this one. And that one actually came across pretty straight. Um, and I think I want to make sure that with this one, it's a little bit more angled. Yeah, that's not much more angled. Okay, my middle stays the same. I'm going to put another clip here 
and I'm going to rip down here and I'm really going to rip this one at an angle because I want some interest. And then I'm going to put another clip here and let's rip this way. There. Put that away. Get my glue out. Uh, but I'm going to move these over here this time because they didn't work so well over there. I kept hitting them. So we'll move those over there and let's spread out our cards. So I have one. I'm just checking to make sure I stay in frame. Two, because these are much larger cards. So I'm going to move them over a little bit. One, two, three, four. And five. Fives, so you're just, you're just going to have to be off camera for that one. Well, here, you know what? We'll move the glue book. We'll bring you down. Then we'll move you off camera. So again, we pick our first one. Take the clip off. And you're going to start right at the top. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Then you're going to take your second slot part, also on the top, and you're going to start with two. Two. Three. Four. Five. One. Now you're going to take your middle. And you don't want to start with the other ones. You want to start where there isn't one yet. So you start with three. Four. Five, one, two. Take your fourth one. And so guess where you're going to start? You're going to start on four. Four, five, one, two, three. And then five, you start on five. Five, one, two, three, four. See how easy it is? Okay, I'm not going to show you the gluing on this one. I'm going to pause my camera and I'm going to glue them up and I will be back. Just coming back on to say, you know, one of the pieces that might make this easier, if, if you are like me and you forget that you know, inking is an option. Uh, one of the things you might want to consider doing is inking all of your pieces for all of them first. Before you glue anything down, just go through the process of going, of inking everything. Because I did it with the, the first one that I did. I started putting it together and realized I hadn't inked and I really wanted to ink all of these. So I'm just now going to go through, and before I bother to, to glue any of these down, I'm inking absolutely every single piece. And I'll show you why here. You see that I, I inked a couple, and I didn't ink a couple, and it's like, okay, you know what? We're just going to ink everything. All right, that's it. I'll be back when all of these are inked and glued down. Okay, I am back with the five that I have done, and I really like how these have come out. This one I went ahead and put an eyelet in. I'm just going to spray them all out. I've turned off my light because the sun has come out. I told you, thing is, this is, this is the Finger Lakes. If you don't like our weather, wait a minute. It'll be something different. It'll be okay. So I did these five. These are really big cards, and I put an eyelet in the one, just to kind of see. And I'm glad I didn't do these on camera, because you'll see that this one's skinnier than the others. That's because the, the edges were all goofed up, and I ended up trimming them down. Both of these ended up a little bit skinnier because of that. Um, so, yeah. I guess if I put these in order in which I did they, they, I had that one, and then... I'm just trying to think. That one went there, then this one went here, then it went in the middle, then it went down there, and then it went there. So that's the order in which we actually, I think, did them. I don't know. Maybe. This is the way it's 
going to be now. The other thing that I did just because I didn't like the, it was very, very white with these little pieces. And when I inked them, there were, there was just as much ink as there was white. So I ended up making them all kind of a, a sepia color rather than, I left these two, the regular white, I left the maps, the white, but, um, a couple of these, I went ahead and did the sepia on them instead. All right, so this is the Wacket Stack. The other set that we've done today is the uh, gray and white set. And I've decided for these, I would like to have silver eyelets. So I'm not going to cut, I'm not going to do any more um, holes in them. These two, I probably will put holes in and then just put strings in, or maybe I'll put a bit of lace at the top of them. But these, I think I would like silver eyelets and I don't have any, so I have to get silver eyelets. So that's another set. I have another set here that I'm going to work on. This is a blue set. I have a couple of blue papers here. And so I will be doing this all with thin blue papers. I like the thinner papers rather than the thicker. Leave the thicker for your cardstock. All right. So this is the Stack and Whack. I'll leave the link to... Um, Gales down below. This was a set that I made earlier for a nature journal. And in fact, I'm going to be putting that back into the nature journal. You can see the, the walkthrough for this particular journal on Wednesday. This is a journal that is going for a swap. And um, I just really like these cards. I like how they come out. So that's the stack and whack. Whack. W-A-C-K. Whack. And I am having a lot of fun with these. Obviously, I'm going to keep making them. Um, they're a quick make in front of the TV. While, while I did these, I have my tablet here and I just put on another YouTube video and just watched a YouTube piece. And uh, yeah. So if you're enjoying these videos, please make sure you hit the subscribe button. Hit like. Uh, YouTube likes when you like. And uh, if you want notifications as to when the next video is coming out, make sure you hit the subscribe button. I tend to release videos on Mondays and Fridays with a walk, the occasional walkthrough Wednesday. This Wednesday there is one, so make sure you look for that. In the meantime, enjoy your day. And this is Cindy signing off.